team pick. Juggernaut. Radiant team back. Axe. All right, uh, hopefully. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team back. All right, apologies. Uh, we have spent a few minutes uh, trying to figure it out uh, how uh, the stream, I think, it might be because we have been streaming through the, um, so many middle men. Five anyway, seconds remaining. it's the grand finals. We are trying so hard to make it the best quality for you guys, so you have to uh, get to pick. enjoy these ones. Team pick. So we are in the draft already. First game from uh, first Choose last pick from Team Boom ID is Kunka. Outworld Devourer gonna be the last pick for the clutch game. We all have the heroes for the grand final games. I like Boom ID heroes a lot, but clutch gamer heroes also not bad. This is such a Great finals. You're All right, we are mate. up and crazy, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a very crazy evening for all of us. You will be forever alone. And uh, before we go into this game, Stay frosty. <laughs> let me check something. I'm gonna do some quick intro first. Who play who in this game for Clutch Gamer on the Radiant side? Noya on the uh, Lich Alacrity oh, on the uh, Outworld Devourer, Juggernaut by Nico Baby, and KYXY on Centaur Runner, Skylark on Dazzle. 30 seconds to battle. Good. So, uh, on the dire side, we have Team Boom ID. Keskill on Tartaman, Mikoto on Kunka, uh, FBC on Axe, Fervian on Phantom Sassine, and Jokem on Rubik. The battle begins. Seems to be a two body rune for each team. 
A Y X Y on central runner position four. Yes, played this here a lot, so many times. the game so at the bottom lane and every lane is gonna fighting so hard here hoop stomps already kyxy hoop stomp that's gonna be the first blood uh, by team clutch gamers seems like they still on a run this game it was that so as a call for skylar and kyxy doing a very good job in setting up the kill alacrity in the middle lane against Mikoto and Kunka. Axe doing a pretty good job cutting out the creep weight. Actually, he got nerfed a bit in 7.2 OD Axe because the um, uh, his spell in Counter Helix are actually. Less powerful in early game, less damage. It used to be 70, now it's down to 60. Look at that, he's spinning, keeps spinning around all the time. Eating up the whole tree wave. Now he's just gonna get a very fast van vanguard. Double damage. Alacrity. And here comes the cost. <laughs> Say hi to all the guys in the chat room. I'm sorry for the technical issues before that made us have to restart the stream. But the quality is all good now. I hope you guys enjoy. Mid lane Alacrity on the Outworld Devourer. He has played a lot of Rubik mid. Nicoda. Ruby has been stolen to the Boom ID side, played by Jokem. As a supporter, Mikoto on Tamago. Top lane, Serbian. Standing in front of the creeps, uh, kind of bravery for him. Getting up on the high ground, now he can pull back to the tower. Get shot down by the tower, support comes in for the Noya. Who's gonna die first? It, it will be Alacrity who goes out first. Nice one for the Boom ID that gets the first kill. Yeah, Jokem. Noya! Actually, not bad for Noya. He went in quite fast for the supports, but just not enough to save the life of the hard carry. Oh, spin around for the FPC, Tamako! That was a lucky shot. FBC. Wow, this is such an unlucky game for Team Clutch Gamers. And that axe, though. 4 minute 20 second vanguard for the axe. Dyer are scanning. Alacrity. 
still slightly uh, close for both party in the first five minutes of the game. Alacrity. Alacrity is back down to the river. Get locked down in the master of his horse. Alacrity walking away. It's not her spot back and he died at the river. So Cold got him. Meanwhile, Axe uh, killed somebody at the uh, bottom lane once again. Is his fourth Noya. Look at him. Face. Oh, I'm sorry. The brow boot and also the vanguard. Too fast. He's so on the way to the blink dagger. Uh, at this rate of farming, he gotta get a blink dagger at 10 minutes. Not a good news for Team Crush Gamers. And Fermi, Fermi and farming pretty okay, and now he's just gonna get the kill on the core. Skylark and Dazzle trying to choke out uh, Joe Sees him, Skylark to the top. He surely goes now. Oh, wait. They can't find him. And they're just gonna use the courier to scout it down. Now, finally, they see Skylark collect Kinesis to the free line and killing the three at the same time. The KYXY comes in just in time to save his teammates. Uh, it might be uh, Furby and Tobacco instead who falls out there. Uh, no. Skylark with a poison touch. That's such a fail. Sailing now. Fail kill. By Team Boom ID. What a joke. By Skylark. And points and touch on him. Here comes the hoop storm and strike him with retaliation. Jumps in into the creep wave. He will go down. If he die one more time, he will have to walk back. And now Skylark with three kills. Maxing out the poison touch. Walking back to the tower is so painful to watch. Okay, skill. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Nice Rubik. Radiant are scanning. Oh, okay. Tamako. Radiant's <coughs> middle tower is under attack. 1.6k gold in his pocket, getting closer Dyer's and closer to the blink dagger. Skylark teleport from the top lane down to the bottom, becoming 3v1 here. Omni Smash finally comes out. That with a bad two two, they can easily kill the axe. Armor reduction minus two. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Let's take a look at the network, of course, led by axe. Second place, it's Dazzle. A Dazzle core going straight for Necronomicon. KYXY might get caught uh, here on top because he was surrounded by three heroes of team uh, Boom ID. Nice, that's the first kills of Furbian. We can't look down on Furbian even though he died like two times already. But he is the guy who brought Boom ID into the Grand Finals. Huh? He brought his Dyer's team from behind so many times. Dolphin. Astro Prisman. Try to fall back uh, to the tower, but he will die before because Noia is also here with the frost blast and the frost shield. Tower shoots on Noia, but he's gonna be fine. Walking away with a bouncing frost shield like that. Catch kill, they're getting dive inside the tower. Dropping said the Ikris for the first time. He intends to kill that Mikoto. He's still inside the tree line, but he will be stuck there. Make a baby finish him off. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. They tend to play a very fast game for clutch gamers. Skylark, however, finished somebody Crush back on the bottom lane. It was a solo kill axe. Is that Throw so away. that strong as a core? Dyer's middle tower oh my god. Attack. I need to stop playing this hero as a support, man. 
Na ja, bitte da. KYXY. Getting wrapped up by Team Boom ID. Shackle Zori comes out of the Pervian to strike on him. KYXY. Pervian might go down too. He might have to jump on Keskill. Keskill come out will finish off KYXY right there. Take a look at the movement of Skylark. That's a Dazzle. Thanks. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Mikoda on Kunka. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Top main juggernaut. Guys, I want you guys to look at the hard carries of both teams Dyer's and maybe you can discuss which side is better Dyer's when it comes to late game. Is under attack. I I the like boom ID more because of the axe. Dyer's top tower I have a fall. feeling that Berserk the call is Radiant going to be a key spell in attack. late game. I mean, if axe is managed to jump in and call on two or three, that would be like the turning point in every single team fight. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. FBC. Are they going up trying to strike on that Fervian? Nico Baby before he lands his Omni Slash was hexed. And the late race of Team Boom ID have to move in. Boom ID can de defend the power against this bad Doo Doo Skylark. Bottom lane Mikoto. Got a TP, he might have to teleport down and start something with his teammates. Dyer's middle tower they can't see anything attack. on the high ground, so they might have to just fall back. And they're gonna come in once again with a smoke. Uh, Boom ID knows that Team Clutch Gamer is about to steal in their stacks. Radiant are scanning. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Double down. Top lane is gonna catch a phobia to Marvel. Thirteen minutes hard now finally get caught by the simple stampede. He was slowed down for 2.5 seconds. Skylight will chop him off. The game is still full of the micro ganks. Uh, not a big team fight just yet. Radiant's bottom tower is Clutch under gamers. attack. Before he land the Omni Slash, a uh, cast kill just hexed on. That's enough damage Radiant to kill. Structures are fortified. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's Nicole baby already tower killed the top time and go straight into the Roshan pit. Just try to rush the game before the Phantom Assassin get more items. Mm, the, uh, such a big difference between the PA and the Juggernaut right here by Nick Baby. <laughs> Clutch Gamer. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Your baby in the latest. Next item is just gonna be a mental style. He was so far ahead, pretty much like um, double time ahead in terms of network from the Phantom Assassin. Died three times already for Phantom Assassin. 
Regeneration. Gotta give the credit to the support sub team Clutch Gamers too. That they doing pretty good, taking care of the hard carries. Oh uh, uh, yeah, just gonna run the slash, moving around. Why? It's is that a misspelled? Is it? Just wonder why it's not enough damage to kill the Ruby just Radiance now. Radiance bottom tower is under oh attack. The Kodo already got on the bottom. Has fallen. Kodo level 12. No, not yet for Boom ID. They still cannot fight. They cannot fight Clutch Gamer just yet. On the dazzle, but Chalo Grave on himself just in time, and this is gonna cause a lot of problems for Team Boom ID. Just have to retreat. Uh, they can't spend any Radiant's second more to kill uh, that dazzle. And now he's just gonna get caught. That cool cut. Dazzle seems to be a key hero today in all games uh, with a very high win rate for Dazzle. No matter how you play it, as a core or as a supporter. That's the re reason why they pick Axe. But Axe, after a decent early game, he's now stopped. He used to be like number one network, now he down to number six. Bad game in overall for Team Boom ID. They just need a turning point, maybe defending a tower or something. And they, if they could swipe that team. Clutch game down for the whole team, attack. and yeah, they've got chance. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Two towers in a row is quite bad for Clash Gamer because the uh, Phantom Assassin still needs some space to farm. Losing towers like that is always a good news, uh, bad news. Yeah, it's good news for Clash Gamer. And Clash Gamer is just gonna keep on going because they have an Aegis on their side. Uh, strike on the bottom tier 3 tower. They're gonna do something about that. Uh, Xmart is on himself. Uh, try to go in and do the. Um, Tight breaker in order to kill all the creep waves. Uh, Telekinesis back tower tier 3 shooting on Nico Baby, but he's gonna be fine. He got a frost shield. Uh, tower finally deals some damage to Nico Baby, but he will just go up. Radiance you wanna spend his ages. Radiance top tower has fallen. Half HP. They will surely go up. Cross by and here come the, the kill on Jokem was so easy with Omni Slash and spinning around and just attack on the tower. Heal from Dazzle, everything, Clutch Gamer is rushing on the game. Torrent uh, stop him from attacking for a while, the FPC call him inside. Hey, come on in, man. I got some good wine inside. Come and have a sip. It seems like Nico Baby is just gonna bite, not gonna bite that. Go straight for the tower and now he goes straight for the throne. He still have an Aegis. He's inviting Team Boom ID to come and join the team fight. He already used his Omni Slash, but his teammates still got a lot of uh, ultimates to, to skip on Team Boom ID. Spinning around. Finally, it's time to go back. Boom ID. Such a hard game to play against Team Clutch Gamer. Radiant are scanning. The blue wind carries me. baby. Come and go. Got him. Nice. 
my up, Scotty. Nicely. Ooh. Arms for the dead shall run them down. Little baby is on top. <coughs> KYXY. Radiant's top tower is under attack. It's time to go up on a high ground for Nico Baby. He just won't give up on this Varax. They know that they are ahead uh, despite losing the edges to the um, Roshan. But they still. I think they know that they are stronger in every way. The hand carries of Kimbo ID is not yet uh, scary. Crimson God and Flame Escape is gonna keep that Joker alive. Uh, but it was uh, kind of successful for Team uh, Clutch Gamer to fall, uh, try to sort them all out from the barracks area. Boom! About to lose the first set of racks. Already fall back to Team Mikoto with the Black King bar pop the, for, the, for the first time. They still want to go in. Oh my god. Clutch Gamer just really want this barracks. They are just like uh, the uh, stubborn boyfriend, ex boyfriend that never give up. And try to get back on you all the time. Gaia's bottom shrine is under attack. They never stop. They're just gonna wait for Radiance the next green wave and go for the barracks. They know that they are stronger. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Guardian grief is on the way by the dazzle. Dyer's bottom shrine has fallen. Skylark. Around with the Amenta sign, also the Bell Fury. Better be careful about the Omni Slash, but no, oh, nice setup by KYXY with the hooks on my aiming for the Joe Camp. They know that they know who to aim for. They need to get rid of that Rubik first, or the Arcane Supremacy is just gonna kill all of them. So every time they see Rubik, they're jumping on him. Mikoto will slow down with the um, spamming the poison touch on him. Now he's now getting hit. Locked down in the Master Pen Ward, but he's gonna be fine. Only few hits on the Master Pen Ward, he was free. KYXY stands in front as a position 4. He's doing very good job as a tanking hero. Mikoto getting slashed. One hit away, and Skylar got him with the uh, Poison Titan, and everyone just needs to buy back. Next one's gonna be FBC, spinning around to be safe from all the spells. Uh, X minus spot back into the Noya, into the Torrent. Uh, locked down in the Chaco. Finally, Omni Slash comes out at the same time with Alacrity. Set the eclipse. All of them falls. Now finally they have to give away the bottom barracks. Incredible. No, not yet. Will they go in again? Really? Come on man, you already here. It's only few hits away. You have been trying for the last like uh, two years to get this barracks. One more green wave. But Clutch Gamers Die. already Oscar. ran out of every single ultimate. While well, Boom ID got it all. This is interesting. The only ultimate they have here is Bad to Two, <laughs> which they have all the time, actually. Don't give up. Go up, only few slash. 500 HP left. Fervian already got the uh, Bell Fury. And he's on the way to the Black King Bar. No, instead of Black King Bar, he just goes straight uh, to Scout Batcher. No, he already got the Black King Bar first before Scout Batcher. It's my other spot back. Straight to the barracks. Come on. You already came this far. There's no way to fall back. Telekinesis is back into the middle of team now. Boom ID. They're all going for the Janot. Slash on the barracks. Come on, baby. It's minus spot back. Astro imprisonment to save him from being X back. Alacrity. Ah! 
Ah! God damn it! Only a few hits. Come on, Clutch Gamer. You already come this far. Clutch Gamer be like, why don't you just give up the barracks? Losing one set of racks won't gonna give you game. Let's just go, man. Let's just go up. 600 HP left. Nico Baby already got the Omni Slash boot already. Start striking on the Barry Raxa. But look at the Raxa. Slashing on the Raxa. Slashing on the Raxa. Cello great for that. The um, Centaur Rhino, he fall back just a little bit. They haven't got a Raxa yet. Uh, but Omni Slash came out and killed that Axe though. Axe or Raxa. Axe or Raxa. It's gonna be Raxa and Axe. Spinning around and just go for that Rubik. Come on, man. Finally get the Bar Raxa. And it's two down for Team Boom ID. Team Clutch Gamer might go for more rats. Are you happy now, Clutch? <laughs> oh my god. Dazzle. Baby, time to flash all the things down. It's gonna go for the Aegis. It seems like Boom ID wanna contest that after they just lost them on the barracks. Uh, they threw the first ship inside, but it didn't hit anyone. However, the fight actually started outside that turn. The Black King Bar was super slow already. Phantom to say it seems like he kind of confused, he kind of found a target that, that his teammates are being slowed down by the top poison touched. Nico baby. With an ages and they just want to push more and more. They don't give time or space for skin boom ID to breathe at all. Straight to the mill racks. Spinning around and start attacking on the tier 3 tower. Dropping up HPs already. What are they gonna do with that? No matter what they are planning for Team Boom ID, Team Crush Gamer still have an Aegis and cheese. Start attacking on the racks. Here come the Master of Pain Wars, but it was played a little bit too deep inside for Team Boom ID. Maybe because they don't want it to be slashed down. However, Omni Slash comes out, the FBC falls down real quick. Axe with a decent start in the early game, now becoming a paper in the late game in front of the Juggernaut. Comes in by the KYXY, very nice setting up, dropping set the Eclipse. They was just one step ahead from taking the lead in the last series of the game. Goes in and a striker, alacrity finish off that Jokum. Fall back to the bar actor. That is second set of rack within 30 minutes. The game is about to end. 16k ahead. Still playing it safe. Jagan on the way to a scout basher and just gonna turn himself into a Bissell Blade picker. Nico Baby. Slash out top tower. Nico Baby moving inside. 22 to 6 game score. Spinning around on the Nico Baby. Top tower about to drop. Attacking is just too much, man. Just use the blade fury and attack on the tower. There's nothing much they could do about. Meanwhile, alacrity strike from the back line, spinning around. Nico baby, they are about to win five games in a row today, including winning over Team Minesi. Godlike already for Nico baby. That's the mega creeps. 
It's a matter of time now, as I don't believe that in some way Team Move ID will come back in this case. Going into the first hit, FBC of the Black King Bar in the corner. And Axe will fall down and just die back. It's a TT call coming up from Team Boom ID. And only 30 minutes in, 25 to 6 game for Clutch Gamer takes the lead. We're gonna take a break and we will be right back to game number 2 of the Grand Finals. We'll take it.